Hey guys, I'm at the Japan Mobility Show and checking out the new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. But this one is not your ordinary Land Cruiser. It's slightly different. I'll show you that in a moment. But let me do my usual engineer's audit and check, which I haven't had a chance to do it yet. Beautiful, beautiful Land Cruiser. Let's take a look at the uh, body check. This is a pre-production model, not the final version. But look at the perfect finish of the uh, panel fit, panel alignment. I can't use the measurement tool here at the auto show, but this is three millimeter or less, maybe 2.9. Very consistent from front to back all the way through. Look at the bulging uh, sculpting fender flares here. Solid plastic, solid plastic here. And uh, I really love the round design. If I were to buy a Land Cruiser, you know, am I going to get uh, the normal headlight design or the round ones? A bit hard to say, but I am drawn to this traditional look because we have the 70 series over there and this one looks a lot like a 70 series from the front. So I'm glad Toyota decided to do two different variations of a Land Cruiser design. But let's keep on walking on the side here. And if I were to look at the uh, profile here, again, the quality of the metal finish Something that I really, really treasure, as you guys know, I'm a former manufacturing engineer for a number of car companies, and I used to do quality control and quality audit on cars and check for the panel fit. To get this level of alignment with this edge lining up perfectly, this is Lexus quality, maybe even better than some Lexus models. Perfect finish, paint job looks really good, and this kind of mustard color is actually a metallic paint. It goes all the way here. You've got the FJ Cruiser type of uh, a dividing line here with a different color. Also FJ Cruiser style of the um, mirrors. I was talking to the chief engineer of the Land Cruiser yesterday and he gave me a whole bunch of uh, interesting things about the Land Cruiser. But one of the reasons for making the mirror this way is not just for design purposes, but this takes up less space. So it's not overhanging the body too much for off-roading. Although we have this big bulge for the fender flares, wheels sticking out to give you that true off-road look that we, we really like. If we keep on going here, we got a pretty vertical um, front window here. It's not vertical, obviously, but it's quite vertical. Lots of space here as well, and not, uh, not a long cavity here. So this is an interesting engineering exercise, because usually where the wipers are, we have a little crevices where the wiper kind of folds in and rests up and you get all kinds of leaves and dirt when you uh, park the car outside. But this one, because there's a shelf here, we're not gonna have that problem. Even if we go off-roading and the tree and the branches fall off, this will just fall off behind. So clever design because we don't have this wiper recessed into the body. And that's, I think, a really interesting way of engineering. Black, um, handle here. Actually, I'm going to go on the driver's side. I'm going to keep this door open on this side and I'll walk on that side and I'm going to show you what uh, this is all about. <clears throat> Beautiful thing. Uh, actually, Chia, do you want to walk on the other side and then I'll show you from the other side. <clears throat> Let me climb in here and uh, the first thing I noticed really is something that I wanted to show you, which is that this is a very different design because this steering controls everything. This one is actually has a brake, accelerator, and obviously it's a steering wheel as well. So underneath there's no pedals, there's nothing. No brake, pedal, no accelerator. So this is a Land Cruiser, but special version, a prototype designed for people who have dis dis disabilities, who do not uh, have ability to use their foot or legs for some reason. Uh, yet you can drive this car by using all the controls here. So that's really cool. This is obviously um, kind of concept and production, so who knows if they will introduce that. But the rest of the design and interior is same as all the Land Cruiser. And as you guys know, it's a standard fare. But I love the simplicity and the, and the basic design of Land Cruiser. It's not a fancy looking stuff, but back to the basic design. As you know, Land Cruiser lowered the price to come down to a different price range. And the chief engineer said yesterday, the whole idea of introducing this new 250 series Land Cruiser is to basically bring the Land Cruiser back to what it used to be, which is not a high-end premium luxury SUV like the 300 series. 
and not too robust and not too simple like the 70 series, but to kind of cut right in between and provide a uh, Land Cruiser for, for everyone. Someone, something that can still be uh, afforded by people who do not want to spend, let's say, $100,000 on uh, SUV. We have a full digital center, uh, info, in center uh, dash here, our usual infotainment system. Everything else is manual, which is great. We have a control for everything. And this is similar to the 300 series in terms of a click, click, click type button. Good old fashioned shifter. All the controls are here. And once again, this design, a little bit like a Land Cruiser 300 series. And we get three, actually, USB ACs on this one. And this one even have a HDMI input. Not sure what that is. Maybe you can display something on the screen here by connecting your device. Wireless charger, charger and two large cup holders. And this one is a cool box. So you can use this like a refrigerator, although you lose a lot of space. So I don't know if this makes any sense from practical perspective to lose so much space. But this one also has center lock, rear locker. And this one has a stabilizer bar disconnect. Something that we don't get in the, uh, Lexus GX, because Lexus GX has a different system called electronic KDSS, which automatically connects or disconnects the stabilizer bar based on the off-road condition. But this one, I can actually manually disconnect the stabilizer bar, allowing for big wheel articulations where the front wheels can move in different directions. And so when you're going over some really big rocks or trying to climb over some very difficult terrains, you can disconnect the stabilizer bar, allow the wheels to kind of move freely up and down, and that make, allows you to go to places you could never go. I like the actual spacing here. Let me see if I can adjust my seat. Yeah, the seats are working. I like to kind of sit nice and tall normally, and I still have a huge amount of uh, headroom here because the car is very boxy. It goes up like this. And I did confirm with the uh, um, chief engineer yesterday that I interviewed that the basic frame underneath is in fact identical or near identical to the to the 300 series Land Cruiser, which is also the Lexus LX that we have here in North America. So for those people who are wondering whether the um, Land Cruiser 250 series as it stands right here is a true Land Cruiser worthy of its name, it is because the platform is the same, the frame is the same as the Land Cruiser 300 series, Yes, we get a different part train, but everything else is pure Land Cruiser. And that's one of the important things that people don't realize in terms of differentiation between this and the 300 series Land Cruiser, which is something we don't get anymore. Now, in terms of part train, as most of you guys know, they've now moved to a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a hybrid system. It has plenty of power and torque. And I did ask the chief engineer why couldn't they put the V6 engine that we get in the GX and to provide some other options, but they said that they want to differentiate this model from the GX and to give it a slightly different price point. So they had to choose a different powertrain. But he said the 2.4 turbo has been carefully calibrated, tuned and engineered for this Land Cruiser use, which means capable of doing all the stuff that the previous Land Cruiser did and more. He said there's plenty of power, plenty of torque, it's going to be really, really amazing uh, off-roader. None of us have driven this Land Cruiser, so we can't talk about the steering feel or driving feel. But he assured me that you will drive like what you expect Land Cruiser to be, which means capable. It's going to be smooth and refined and beautiful. So let's take a look at the rear seat here, and then uh, we're going to be finishing up after that. We're going to go in the back of the Land Cruiser here. and. This is a very interesting thing. By the way, I forgot to mention that the steering mechanism in the front is called Neo Steering. Uh, so it's a new era, steering era as an ERA. That's what it's called. We have one of the engineers, I think he's the chief engineer actually talking about it right now in the front. But just the back seat, I'm going to show you how roomy it is. It's a bit of a climb up because it's a body on the frame, obviously. But you know, this is really comfortable. You do have a big hump in the center here, obviously. But in terms of comfort level, space-wise, space this way, it's pretty amazing. I actually really like it. And you guys know that I have a Lexus GX. 
and I'm planning to change that to the new 2024 GX or the Land Cruiser because I do have a deposit on the Land Cruiser as well. Uh, you know what, I'm torn. You guys have to let me know which one I should buy, the Land Cruiser or the Lexus GX or whatever, something else, or wait for the 400 to show up. And this is just really good design. Even the center seat is actually quite comfortable. And uh, we're looking in the trunk here to finish off. So stay with me for a bit more. It's getting loud here because so many people are looking at this model. Um, but uh, let's look at the rear. Uh, if this person, if I can open this. Oh, maybe it's not going to open. No, I can't open it. I think it's locked, so we can't open it. Oh, I this, ne? Okay, so they locked the rear, so we can't open it right now. But uh, nice textured bumper. I love the rear design. I'm really glad that they kept kind of a very blocky design. But as you guys know, uh, this would have been a Land Cruiser Prado using the old name, which has a, has a swing out door. And the Land Cruiser Prado is a Lexus GX in North America. That's the one that we own right now. And a lot of people complain about the swing out door. I actually like it because you just have to open a little bit and I can throw things in. Uh, but this goes back to a normal big opening and then uh, we can actually pop out the window here as well if I, I believe correctly but i don't have a button to pop out like i do in my gx so that's the land cruiser i did a quick audit on the quality it looks really well made this one is a slightly different version of land cruiser because it's got the special steering but we can't wait to drive it i can't wait to possibly own it and there's so much more to tell you about land cruiser and i have to also talk to you about the new next generation foreigner based on this so those are coming as well but for now, I'm signing off. See you guys later.